Well, the price tag to get help to you and your family in an emergency is about to go up in St. Joseph County. New at 6, there's concern about how many of your tax dollars should pay for a new 911 dispatch center. WSBT's Kelly Stepsinski is investigating this for us tonight. And Kelly, the county has to consolidate its four dispatch centers by the first of next year. Into no more than two 911 centers, Rick. State law says we will lose funding if we don't meet that deadline. And there's a plan to make it happen temporarily. After that, the county wants to build one 911 center to bring all dispatchers under the same roof. But before any of that can happen, Mishawaka, South Bend, and the county council have to approve the money for it. The plan is for this field near Capitol Avenue and 12th Street in Mishawaka to look like this by next August, a state-of-the-art 911 dispatch center. I'm not saying I totally disagree with it, but I'm, I am concerned with that. What concerns St. Joseph County Council President Raphael Morton most is the method a private accountant used to divvy up the estimated $9 million price tag for the building and technology and another $6 million for operating costs, mostly pay and benefits for dispatchers. Is it necessary to have Accountants from Mishawaka-based Umbaugh and Associates used a formula to figure out how much Mishawaka, South Bend, and St. Joe County would have to pay. That formula based 75 percent of the cost on assessed property values and 25 percent on call volume. Public safety is paid for through property taxes and the allocation of property taxes based on assessed value. Do you think the numbers are fair? Ultimately I do and uh, and that's what the objective of the whole process was. So here's the breakdown for that nine million dollars for the new building and technology. St. Joseph County would be responsible for about 54 percent, South Bend an estimated 29 percent, and Mishawaka 17 percent. The six million dollars in operating costs is an estimated 47 percent for the county, 35 percent for South Bend, and almost 18 percent for Mishawaka. I question number one, how can the county have a higher assessed evaluation uh, valuation than the city. Uh, and um, number two, when you talk about call volume, um, why isn't that um, looked upon 50-50? The CPA from Umbaugh says those numbers are not exact. What he says is not shown in the Mishawaka and South Bend numbers are residual costs, things those two dispatch center budgets previously handled, like administrative calls. He says the cities will probably have to cover those costs, and it should narrow the budget gap. Rick? You know, Kelly, this would all be paid for with taxpayer dollars. Through the County Economic Development Income Tax, also known as CEDIT dollars, and there's a tight deadline to make it all happen. The Mishawaka Council already approved this interlocal agreement on how the money would be divvied up. South Bend's council could vote Monday and developers say they need the county council's approval by August 12th to start work to consolidate the four centers into two by the first of the year then begin on the new dispatch center set to open next August. Yeah that deadline's coming. Yes. Kelly thanks. No.